something strange is happening beneath Mount Adams, and it's capturing the full attention of USGS scientists. In recent weeks, a surge in earthquake activity has been detected around this iconic Pacific Northwest volcano, raising questions and sparking speculation. Is this just a natural phenomenon, or could it be a warning of something much more ominous? Could magma be on the move? Or is there another unseen force at play deep underground? Join us as we delve into this mysterious seismic surge, explore the data, and uncover the potential risks lurking beneath one of the region's most iconic peaks. The answers may surprise you. Towering above the rugged wilderness of the Pacific Northwest, Mount Adams is a majestic yet often underestimated giant of the Cascade Range. Standing at 12,277 feet, 3,742 meters, and spanning 18 miles, 29 kilometers, in width. Mount Adams is the largest active volcano in Washington, surpassing even Mount Rainier, the state's tallest peak, in volume. With its serene snow-capped peaks and breathtaking vistas, it has long been a symbol of nature's quiet beauty. But beneath this seemingly tranquil exterior lies a sleeping giant, capable of immense geological power. For centuries, Mount Adams has remained silent, with no major eruptions recorded in modern history. Until now, it seemed the mountain had retreated into dormancy. In this video, we'll explore the science behind Mount Adams' volcanic history, break down what the USGS is investigating, and discuss what this could mean for the surrounding region. Stay with us as we unravel the mysteries of this iconic mountain, and discover whether this sleeping giant might soon awaken. In recent weeks, Mount Adams has experienced an unusual series of earthquakes that have raised significant concerns among geologists and volcanologists. These seismic events, notable for their frequency and intensity, are occurring at depths that suggest something abnormal may be happening beneath the mountain. Earthquakes in volcanic regions often serve as indicators of underlying geological changes, such as the movement of magma, shifts in tectonic stress, or other subterranean disturbances. The USGS has recorded clusters of these quakes, with some registering magnitudes strong enough to draw the attention of both scientists and local communities. This sudden increase in activity has prompted an urgent investigation by the USGS to uncover the cause of this anomaly. Scientists are employing a range of advanced tools, including seismographs to monitor ground vibrations, GPS instruments to detect subtle shifts in the Earth's surface, and satellite data to observe potential changes in the mountain's structure. Through these methods, they aim to determine whether the current activity is a harbinger of volcanic unrest or a transient geological event. Signs such as ground deformation, increased emissions of volcanic gases, or fluctuations in thermal output are being closely monitored as potential precursors to further volcanic activity. One explanation being explored is that tectonic stress in the region is driving this surge in seismic activity. Mount Adams is part of the Cascade Range, a chain of volcanoes closely tied to the Cascadia subduction zone. Here, the Juan de Fuca Plate is steadily being pushed beneath the North American Plate, creating immense stress within the Earth's crust. While such tectonic activity often results in minor quakes, the unique clustering and depth of these events suggest that a more complex process might be at work. Another possibility, and perhaps the most concerning, is that magma is on the move beneath Mount Adams. Magma migration is a natural process in volcanic systems, but it can fracture surrounding rock and cause swarms of earthquakes as it rises toward the surface. While the presence of magma movement does not necessarily mean an eruption is imminent, it is often one of the earliest signs of a volcano becoming active. Hydrothermal activity is also being considered as a potential factor. The interaction of water and gases with hot rock beneath the surface can create immense pressure leading to seismic disturbances. If this hydrothermal system has been destabilized, it could indicate an underlying change in the volcano's internal structure and serve as a precursor to volcanic activity. To unravel the mystery of Mount Adams's earthquake surge, scientists are focusing on a set of critical indicators. One key area of observation is ground deformation. Any noticeable swelling or sinking of the mountain's surface could point to magma accumulating below the crust. Gas emissions are another crucial factor. Increases in gases like sulfur dioxide or carbon dioxide often signal heightened volcanic activity as magma releases trapped gases while it ascends. Lastly, seismic patterns themselves are being analyzed closely. 
Variations in the depth, frequency, and magnitude of earthquakes can reveal important details about the processes occurring within the volcano. As the investigation continues, the USGS remains vigilant in monitoring Mount Adams for any additional signs of activity. While these earthquakes might turn out to be a passing geological event, the possibility of a more significant development cannot be ruled out. Whether these tremors are a routine part of the mountain's natural behavior or an early warning of volcanic unrest, they serve as a stark reminder of the dynamic and unpredictable nature of Earth's geological systems. And for now, let's go back to the past. Mount Adams began forming approximately 520,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. As layers of lava and volcanic debris built up over time, the mountain grew into the colossal structure we see today, with a base that spans more than 200 square miles. Unlike some volcanoes that experience explosive eruptions, Mount Adams is characterized by its effusive eruptions, which produce large volumes of lava flows rather than catastrophic explosions. However, these eruptions have significantly reshaped the landscape and presented hazards to the surrounding region. During its early formation, Mount Adams experienced a series of massive lava flows that extended tens of miles from its summit. These flows were primarily composed of andesite and basalt, forming the broad, shield-like base of the volcano. These ancient eruptions laid the foundation for what would become the towering stratovolcano, with some lava reaching as far as 30 miles from the mountain. In the latter part of the Pleistocene, Mount Adams entered a period of heightened volcanic activity. Lava flows during this era helped shape the modern cone of the mountain. Notable eruptions during this time produced extensive lava fields, such as the famous A.G. Aiken Lava Bed, which stretches across the southern flanks of the volcano. These flows were significant, not only for their size, but also for the way they altered regional drainage patterns, creating new valleys and shaping rivers. The most recent period of activity at Mount Adams occurred during the Holocene Epoch. The volcano produced several significant eruptions, including lava flows and pyroclastic events that affected its flanks and surrounding areas. Among these, one of the most notable eruptions occurred approximately 3,500 years ago. This eruption produced the famous Muddy Fork Lava Flow, a massive andesite flow that extended down the western flank and filled the Muddy Fork Valley. Another significant eruption, believed to have occurred around 1,000 years ago, deposited pyroclastic material across the summit and upper flanks. This marked the last major activity of Mount Adams, with no significant eruptions recorded since. However, this period demonstrated the volcano's potential for substantial geological impact. Although Mount Adams has not erupted recently, its slopes remain a source of volcanic hazards. The mountain is heavily glaciated, and past eruptions have triggered massive lahars, or volcanic mudflows. These lahars, composed of melted glacial ice, volcanic ash, and debris, can travel rapidly down the mountain's flanks, posing significant risks to downstream communities. Evidence of ancient lahars can be found in the valleys surrounding the volcano highlighting the long-lasting impacts of Mount Adams' eruptive history. The eruptions of Mount Adams have left behind a dramatic and diverse landscape. From the rugged lava flows to the fertile valleys carved by lahars, the mountain's geological legacy is visible across the region. Its past activity has also played a role in shaping local ecosystems, creating unique habitats for a variety of plants and animal species. Today, Mount Adams is considered dormant, with no major eruptions recorded in over a thousand years. However, like all volcanoes in the Cascade Range, it is closely monitored for signs of potential activity. Its extensive history of eruptions, while less explosive than that of Mount Saint. Helens serves as a reminder of the dynamic and unpredictable forces that shape the Pacific Northwest. But what if Mount Adams erupted today? If Mount Adams erupted today, the impact would depend heavily on the nature and scale of the eruption. Mount Adams, with its broad base spanning over 200 square miles, is a massive volcano that holds the potential for far-reaching consequences even with a moderate eruption. Its size and geological history suggest that an eruption could unleash a variety of hazards, each with its own devastating impact on the surrounding region. The most immediate threat during an eruption would likely come from andesitic and basaltic lava flows. These flows, 
characteristic of Mount Adam's past eruptions, could extend for miles across the landscape. Although they generally move slowly, giving people time to evacuate, their destructive power is immense. Lava flows would obliterate anything in their path, from dense forests to critical infrastructure and agricultural lands. Due to the relatively remote location of the volcano, wilderness areas would bear the initial brunt of the destruction. But if the lava extended far enough, it could threaten nearby towns and communities. Another significant hazard is the potential for lahars, which are volcanic mud flows caused by the rapid melting of glaciers during an eruption. Mount Adams Summit is heavily glaciated, making it especially prone to this type of disaster. Lahars are fast moving and can travel tens of miles, following river valleys and inundating anything in their way. Historical evidence shows that lahars from Mount Adams have dramatically impacted the Klickitat, White Salmon, and Cispus River valleys, carving new landscapes and posing significant risks to downstream communities. These areas remain vulnerable to similar events should the volcano erupt again. Even a relatively small eruption could generate a substantial ash plume, which would pose additional hazards. Depending on the prevailing wind patterns, ashfall could affect towns and cities across Washington and Oregon. Ashfall is more than a nuisance. It can disrupt air travel, clog machinery, contaminate water supplies, and create respiratory problems for people and animals. While Mount Adams is known for effusive eruptions, any explosive activity could amplify these risks. In addition to ash and lava, volcanic gas emissions are another concern. An eruption could release significant amounts of gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. These gases can pose direct health hazards to nearby populations, contribute to acid rain, and have broader environmental impacts. Several towns and regions are within potential impact zones, despite Mount Adams' relatively remote location. Trout Lake and Glenwood, small towns near the southern base of the volcano, would likely be among the first to experience the effects of lava flows or lahars. White Salmon and Hood River, located along the Columbia River, could face dangers from lahars traveling downriver or ashfall if wind patterns direct the plume in their direction. Larger cities like Yakima and the Dalles, while further away, could still experience disruptions from ashfall or, in severe cases, infrastructure damage. Even Portland and Seattle, though situated at greater distances, could face air quality issues and logistical challenges, depending on the scale of the eruption. When compared to other Cascade volcanoes, Mount Adams presents unique challenges. Mount St. Helens, for instance, is infamous for its catastrophic 1980 eruption, which involved a massive landslide and a highly explosive event. By contrast, Mount Adams is less likely to produce such violent explosions but could cause more extensive damage over time due to its potential for larger lava flows. Mount Rainier, often considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the United States, poses a more immediate threat due to its proximity to densely populated areas and its extensive glacial cover. Rainier's eruptions are often more explosive, with a higher risk of large-scale lahars reaching communities. While Mount Adams shares similar lahar risks, its remote location makes the direct human impact less severe. Mount Hood, located in Oregon, shares similarities with Mount Adams in terms of its eruptive style, characterized by andesitic lava flows and minor explosive activity. However, Mount Hood's proximity to the Portland metropolitan area makes its potential for widespread disruption significantly higher. Mount Adams, while less threatening to large populations, has a broader physical footprint, which means its lava flows and lahars could impact larger areas of wilderness and smaller towns. In a nutshell, if Mount Adams were to erupt today, the devastation could be extensive, though its remoteness might mitigate some of the human impact. Lava flows, lahars, ashfall, and gas emissions would pose serious threats to nearby towns and could have cascading effects on infrastructure, agriculture, and air quality throughout the Pacific Northwest. While it may not have the explosive notoriety of Mount St. Helens or the densely populated danger zone of Mount Rainier, Mount Adams remains a sleeping giant with the power to reshape the landscape and disrupt lives if it awakens. Currently, Mount Adams is equipped with only one permanent seismic monitoring station located about 7 miles, 11 kilometers, southwest of the summit. However, plans are in place to install additional permanent stations at the site next summer 
according to John Major, the CVO scientist in charge. As of now, we don't have enough data to draw any definitive conclusions, John Major explained. Once the new temporary stations have had time to gather data, we'll be in a better position to evaluate the causes and significance of this seismic activity and determine whether any further steps are necessary. While the USGS and scientists are closely monitoring the situation, only time will tell what lies beneath the surface of this dormant giant. Whether it's tectonic shifts, magma movement, or something else entirely, the events unfolding around Mount Adams are a reminder of the dynamic forces that shape our planet. Be sure to stay tuned as we follow this investigation and keep you updated on any new developments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest updates on this fascinating mystery. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.